female genitals can sometimes seem like they're public property. I just told her, if there's something you need to do. How they are used, look, how they feel. You are a child who is being told this is tradition, this is culture. The BBC has found evidence that girls in the UK are being encouraged to have their labia elongated. It is done by women, it is ultimately done for men. When done to a child, this is female genital mutilation, or FGM, and it's illegal. Some women say it goes up to five inches. Extreme size. Five signs. inches? Yes. Elderly women tell little girls to open their legs. So you know the lips of your private parts. Just the inside, they start pulling the little things out. Betty had her labia pulled before starting puberty in Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe is just one of the countries where the practice is common. She hated it and wouldn't let the women near her. It was so, so inhuman, so terrible. Girls are taught to pull their own labia, or women do it for them. The focus is on their labia minora, here. The aim is to pull them until they're longer. Those girls who couldn't pull, they would then uh, resort to strings. Some girls sustained quite some uh, ulcerations, some or the flesh just got away with the, with the, with the string. Flesh came off? Yes, with the string. Once an older woman has started the pulling process, a young girl is expected to do it daily, over several weeks or months. Betty says it's happening to children in the UK. It's a secretive topic in practice, but we've tracked down a mother who tried to persuade her 12-year-old daughter to do it. I told her, get a mirror. I think she tried once or twice, and then she stopped. She told me from the word go that it's painful. For this woman, labia pulling is... Something that is expected, so they don't see it as an abuse or whatever. She says there are women in the UK paid to show girls how to pull. The women would come and teach them everything, but I didn't take my daughter there, so I didn't force her. So I think she made a choice. Many women pull themselves in later life. They claim a man will enjoy sex more and be faithful. Some women claim it makes sex better for them too. The whole concept of being is part of foreplay. It gives the man something to touch. Once is there not enough to touch down there already? They believe it secures a man. They believe it helps in delivering birth. But these are just myths, aren't they? It makes me really sad, the idea that a little girl would be told that she'll be half a woman mm -hmm. if she doesn't do this thing by the time she gets married and secure a man with her yeah. long labia. A woman is defined by the other people. There aren't any official figures for pulling, and meeting people, it's clear it's a very private topic. In Manchester, I met a group of women who knew about labia pulling, and they were up for talking to me about it. Baby girls, they'll give you like a food so that it can help your labia to grow. Yeah. By eating a food? Yeah. yeah. That's not possible. It's yeah, possible. It's possible. No. It's she does it here. I do that for my daughter. <laughs> you do that? Yeah. Yep, I put the powder. powder. We don't know what this traditional powder is, but putting it in her daughter's food is an FGM. Her daughter is apparently unaware of it, and she's 27. Do you think that pulling is bad? I'm trying to figure out what it is, but it is classed as FGM. There are women who are doing it by choice. Women all over the world choose to alter their genitals. When it comes to labia pulling, you can buy weights in sex shops for elongation. But when it's done to a child, it's FGM and it's illegal. There are some who are making arrangements actually to take their children back to Zimbabwe for pulling from here, from the UK. What, you know of people who are doing that? Yes, definitely. In the school holidays, the Metropolitan Police in London go to airports to raise awareness of FGM. It's a key time for British girls to be taken to countries where types of FGM are legal. What, what we need you to appreciate that in the UK it's against the law. Uh, labia stretching is definitely on our radar. We are fully aware that there's different forms of FGM. They still fall under the FGM legislation. This woman doesn't agree with pulling, but can see why other parents might. They did do it because they know it's good, it's good for them, for the husband to stay with her. Because everyone wants to have a peaceful home, you understand? But for you can argue you can enjoy... have a peaceful home without longer labia. No? Yeah. If she wants to do it, then go ahead. Yeah. In the UK, there have been no convictions for any type of FGM. Something that's culture is culture. It's something which we're made to do without a choice.